द लाइफ ऑफ आल्बर्ट आइंस्टाइन लेसन नंबर वन स्मार्ट फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट नंबर टू द स्कूल डेज नंबर थ्री द पैटर्न क्लर्क नंबर फोर द मेराकल ईयर नंबर फाइव द अकेडमिक्स नंबर सिक्स अ हाउस होल्ड नेम नंबर सेवन अ मैन विदाउट अ कंट्री नंबर एट अल्बर्ट द अमेरिकन नंबर नाइन द महांतन प्रोजेक्ट नंबर टेन फाइनल ईयर्स ऑफ हिज लाइफ लेसन्स स्मार्ट फ्रॉम द स्टार्ट अल्बर्ट आइंस्टाइन इज कंसिडर्ड वन ऑफ द मोस्ट ब्रिलियंट पीपल इन हिस्ट्री एंड देयर वेर साइंस ऑफ हिज जीनियस फ्रॉम द अर्लीस्ट डेज ऑफ हिज लाइफ अल्बर्ट वॉज बॉर्न इन टू अ फैमिली दैट ऑलरेडी हैड इट्स फेयर शेयर ऑफ स्मार्ट पीपल हिज फादर हर्मन हैड बीन एन एक्सलेंट स्टूडेंट विद अ पर्टिक्युलर गिफ्ट फॉर मैथमेटिक्स ओनली हिज पेरेंट्स मनी प्रॉब्लम केफ्ट हिम फ्रॉम going to a higher education or college in early adulthood herman and a cousin became owners of a company that make beds after that herman and his brother jacob started a business that provided gas and electrical supplies albert's mother pauline came from a very successful family her father made a fortune selling grains pauline went to good schools and was a model student she was well educated which was very fairly unusual for a woman at that time she was had a great sense of humor and loved the arts particularly music albert herman and pauline's first child was born on march 14 1879 in the southern german town of ulm right from the start there was something very different about him he rarely spoke for the first few years of his life whereas most children begin to talk about the age of 2 when albert finally began to talk he had a strange habit of speaking his sentence very softly over and over to himself it was as if he was trying them out before he let anyone else hear them this habit troubled some of the people around him the woman that the einstein hired as a maid even called him a dope one however she and many others would seen discover that little albert was about as far from the dope as anyone could be one of the most important moment in albert's childhood happened when he was about 5 he became ill and had to stay in a bed for a time while there his father gave him a compass as a gift young albert was utterly fascinated by this he was enthralled by the fact that the compass needle was reacting to an invisible force rather than some other object touching or moving it and it was not enough that he was fascinated by it he wanted to know how it happened and why it happened uh yahan pe kuch brief likha hai how a compass work ke bare mein to let's see a compass is a very simple device a magnet shaped like a needle spinning freely with one end that always points towards the earth's magnetic north pole this happens because the earth has a magnetic field and the northern side of it draws one end of all magnet in its direction many years later he would say the of the incident that this experience made a deep and lasting impression and concluded that something deeply hidden that had to be find things in fact it was very attitude that guided him toward a career in the science whereas most people simply excel accepted things like magnetism gravity and other invisible forces albert sought to understand what made them work one of the challenge albert faced because of his unusual way of thinking was that it made him different from other his age while most boys would spend a sunny afternoon outside playing ball albert would sit and uh, wonder about all sort of things he would try to carry out a scientific experiment in his head seeing them clearly as image rather than in terms of words or ideas for example he thought about how gravity's effect on him would change if he was standing inside a elevator that was rapidly falling he would wonder would i still be affected by gravity and would i still be standing on the elevator floor what would be holding me there नाव ये तो जान लिया कि यार इन्हें ग्रेविटी के क्वेश्चन आते थे बट वट इज ग्रेविटी यार हम तो साइंस वाले बंदे नहीं है तो हमें ग्रेविटी तो पता नहीं होगी तो लेट सी अ फोर्स दैट मेक्स ऑब्जेक्ट फॉल टूवर्ड्स द अर्थ रादर दैन अवे फ्रॉम इट इट इज ग्रेविटी दैट गिवज वेट टू ऑल मैटर्स 
ये यहाँ पे उन्होंने कोट लिखा था 1929 में इन्होंने कहा था आई हैव नो स्पेशल टैलेंट आई एम ओनली पैशनेटली क्यूरियस जो कि हर एक ग्रेट लीडर में हमें दिखता है अल्बर्ट आल्सो स्पेंड्स आर्स बाय हिमसेल्फ प्लेइंग विथ हिज फेवरेट टॉयज वंस वॉज अ सेट ऑफ बिल्डिंग ब्लॉक्स फ्रॉम विच ही वुड मेक कॉम्प्लेक्स एंड अनयूजल स्ट्रक्चर्स ही आल्सो हैड अ स्मॉल इंजन पावर्ड बाय स्ट्रीम दैट ही रिसीव्ड फ्रॉम हिन अंकल He would watch the engine work and then try to figure out the scientific principles behind it. It was all part of powerful curiosity he had about the world and how it worked. This would be driving force throughout his life. By the time Albert was ready to start school, he and his family had moved to German city of Munich. Most of the people of Munich were Catholic, whereas the Einstein were Jewish. Albert's parents were not particularly religious, but Albert was still teased by the other pla- uh, pla- children for being different. Uh, this made him feel uh, lonely, but it was also helped him to look at the world differently. He became determined to uncover the secrets behind the invisible forces of life. Albert soon developed into a very independent boy who was not afraid to question anything. or anyone as his first year of school approached young albert was more than ready the real question was whether or not the school is ready munich were ready for him uh, ye photo hai unke uh, sister ka jo ki जिनका नाम था माजा और वो अकेले ही इनके फ्रेंड थे और उनके अलावा तो ये अलोन ही रहते थे लेसन नंबर टू स्कूल डेज अल्बर्ट स्कूल डेज वे इंटरेस्टिंग समटाइम्स ही वाज अ मॉडल स्टूडेंट एंड अदर टाइम्स ही वुल ड्राइव हिज टीचर क्रेजी अल्बर्ट बिगेन अटेंडिंग स्कूल इन 1885 व्हेन ही वॉज सिक्स ईयर्स ओल्ड This was the age at which all children required to begin their education in Munich. His parents enrolled him in a school called Petterskuel, uh, which was close to where Einstein lived. Petterskuel may have seemed like an unusual choice because it was a primary a Catholic school, and Albert was the only Jewish boy in his grade. He was sometimes bullied by the, his classmates uh, for this, which was likely. made him feel more isolated than ever petersquill however was also known uh, for its high academic standard and albert's parents wanted to make sure their son got a good education he turned out to be an excellent student after earning higher marks uh, than anyone else however he had he did not care for the rigid way uh, school was run children were expected to be as obedient as soldiers uh, which simply did not fit with albert's uh, way of thinking nevertheless he kept quiet and generally stayed out of the trouble in 1888 after 3 years of petter school big albert began attending another monish school luitpold gymnasium he took many different courses and began earning good grades he was not particularly fond of all his classes though uh, he did not uh, have a great interest of in greek and latin for example he did however enjoy receiving instructions on the hebrew language and the jewish faith in general he eventually began to study christianity and uh, read bible as well his fa- favorite classes were those involving mathematics and science he would uh, learn about the branch of science called physics when he was a little bit older through his theories in physics albert would make his make a uh, mark on history he also spent a lot of uh, his free time studying math and science this not only put him well ahead of fellow student but sometimes ahead of his teacher by the time he was uh, just 14 years old he had a firm understanding of calculus और ये कैलकुलस जो है न्यूटन ने बिल्ड किया है अगर आपने मेरी बुक नहीं पढ़ी होगी तो आप जाके न्यूटन की बायोग्राफी पढ़ सकते हो मेरे बुक से यानी कि हंड्रेड पीपल हु चेंज द वर्ल्ड वो एक बुक है उसमें न्यूटन के बारे में लिखा है उन्होंने कैसे आलकेमी की स्टडी की है कैलकुलस को कैसे इन्वेस्ट इन्वेंट किया गैलियो के टेलीस्कोप को कैसे अपोज किया तो वो पूरे की पूरे स्टोरी वहाँ पर है बट बैक टू आर टॉपिक एंड एडवांस फॉर्म ऑफ मैथमेटिक्स दैट मोस्ट पीपल नेवर ग्रास्प इन दियर लाइफ टाइम The Einstein family suffered a major setback in 1980 uh, in 1894 when the company opened by Albert's father f- uh, filed for bankruptcy. Albert's parents responded to uh, this misfortune in a somewhat unusual way. They moved to Italy, uh, but they left behind Albert behind. They insisted that he finish his uh, education at Luitpold, and they set him up. Bo- uh, 
in a boarding and they set him up in a boarding a boarding house is a temporary home uh, that also provides a meal for the people who are staying there albert continued his studies uh, but the whole experience of being alone made him deeply unhappy he was also facing the possibility of being forced into a into the military which was something he did not want to do so albert left monis later uh, that year without uh, properly graduating from lutpot gymnasium to rejoin his family in italy albert's parents were very upset but albert uh, had no intention to returning to lutpot instead he wanted to go to the swiss federal uh, polytechnic school also known as a jurist polytechnic uh, this was a basically a college level institution at albert did not even have what announced uh, to the high school diploma still he was allowed to take uh, the entrance uh, exam which very uh, which were very difficult uh, the, his course in maths and physics were exceptional swiss federal still wanted albert to attend but only under one condition that he finish up his career course uh, earlier for courses albert uh, did this because enrolling in a secondary school of arava switzerland uh, during this time he was allowed to stay at the home uh, of one of the school's teachers uh, just winkler he got along very well with his entire winkler family it was one of the happiest times of albert childhood when he completed his uh, studies in arava he returned to his family feeling uh, more positive and upbeat uh, than he had in years albert enrolled uh, the swiss federal polytechnic uh, schools in the fall of 1896 in spite of his uh, time spent in arava he still was not uh, really qualified to attend he was only 17 and uh, you had to be 18 to be accepted into swiss federal but they accepted him anyway because it had become a clear by this point uh, that albert had a special mind another important uh, event in albert's life or uh, that occurred in 1896 was that he gave the his uh, german citizenship in spite of his young age albert had already come to believe that violence and warfare uh, were the wrong ways to go about resolving conflicts he had left monis and lutpot gymnasium in part because he was afraid of being uh, drafted germany was uh, germany was becoming more aggressive at that time and even more so by uh, the late 90s when uh, alberto was afraid that even Uh, though he was no longer living in germany he would still be called as black for the military duty uh, so with uh, his parent approval he gave up his uh, german citizenship albert's passive passive would be an important feature of his personality throughout the rest of his life in a later uh, life albert would call himself a mil militant pacifist uh, albert's uh, main ambition at that uh, swiss federal polytechnical school was to earn a teaching degree he certainly had to uh, be brains uh, for it and his uh, gentle and humorous nature would undoubtedly uh, have made him popular with his uh, future students and at albert uh, made uh, his dream more uh, difficult by being a somewhat poor student himself uh, for example albert skipped uh, many classes during his years of swiss federal instead he often uh, studied the notes or uh, text for by the class uh, friend uh, one of the main reason albert uh, rebelled was because he still had a deep dislike for authority and several of his professor were quite uh, strict and inflexible uh, albert also did not like the way certain mathematical and uh, scientific subjects were taught again it was a change uh, of him believing he knew uh, more than his teacher he knew uh, this would make him unpopular with his instructor uh, but he was not willing to bend albert often read books on his own when he supposed to be in class uh, these books were more advanced than uh, those recommended by the school uh, in this sense uh, he really did receive the tremendous education observing work by the leaders in the field of math and physics as well as uh, other subjects uh, that interested him such as the philosophy when it came time to alberto uh, to take his formal education his scores were outstanding uh, his, he eventually graduated with the degree so uh, he so desperately wanted uh, but his default behavior would have a lasting effect that made the next stage of his life very difficult indeed and in one quote likha tha i am not only a pacifist but a militant pacifist i am willing to fight for peace nothing will end war unless the people themselves refuse to go for a war war ye matlab oppose the pure ke pure jo war hota hai uske pure ke pure oppose the kyunki aisa lagta tha ki yaar kuch bacha hi nahi hota hai ye war vagere karne mein to aaram se apne zindagi jo hoti hai wo jee ke rehne mein hi ye believe karte the aise war karne mein ye zyada believe nahi karte the lesson number 3 the pattern club albert had dreams to greatness after finishing school uh, but he would uh, soon learn that uh, the road uh, to the future can sometimes be very bumpy albert graduated from the jurist polytechnic in 
August 1900, uh, sticking with his plans of uh, becoming a teacher. He first needed to get some experiences as a teacher's assistant uh, this however would not be uh, as easy as he imagined he had been fairly rebellious as to born when he was a student at the polytechnic polytechnic as a result some of his professor disliked him yet he needed some of those uh, same professor to recommend uh, him for uh, assistant jobs uh, after graduation albert first tried uh, for a position at the polytechnic itself but no one wa was willing to take a chance on him he did need uh, to hire some assistant but they refused to consider someone they viewed to unpredictable albert uh, responded to his with a letter writing campaign uh, to other schools uh, but he kept uh, running into the uh, same problem anyone who thought about hiring him eventually contacted uh, his uh, for professor at a polytechnic and albert would be turned uh, down shortly there for after uh, after about uh, two frustrating years of job uh, hunting albert was forced to accept uh, the position or as a patent clerk in the space city of burn the problem with his kind of uh, work was the it was too easy for him albert had a brilliant mind and he quickly became bored uh, he would do his du uh, daily duties in half of the time it took most of other uh, clerks it uh, in a funny twist his employer took uh, this to mean he was really enthusiastic about the job he got a raise while albert uh, was hardly in the, uh, enthusiastic his fast pace uh, at the patent office uh, did mean he had more time to work for uh, on his theories about physics uh, the young scientist included uh, in his love of physics during the his free time uh, by gathering a group of friends together who shared the same interest they called themselves olympia academy the olympia academy in german as a kind of joke referring to the math uh, mythical uh, greeks god of mount olympus दिस इज द फोटो ऑफ अल्बर्ट्स फ्रेंड जब उन्होंने ग्रुप बनाया था ओलम्पिया का तब ये फोटो थी उनके फ्रेंड की द ओलम्पिया अकेडमी स्टार्टेड वेन अल्बर्ट पुट इन एड इन द पेपर ऑफरिंग हिज सर्विसेज एज अ मैथ एंड फिजिक्स ट्यूटर वन ऑफ द फर्स्ट पीपल हु कॉन्सेंट्रेटेड हिम एज मोनी सोलवी ने हु वॉज एक्चुअली अ स्टूडेंट ऑफ फिलोसफी रैदर दैन मैथ एंड साइंस और फिजिक्स अन अदर वॉज कॉनर्ड है मैथमेटिशियन देर वेर अ फ्यू अदर पीपल एज वेल बट दीज Three men formed a core of the group. They would meet the Albert apartment, uh, where discussion started with math, physics, and soon expanded with uh, cover other things. Morrissey Solvina, for example, introduced many uh, philosophical topics which Albert uh, found fascinating. The Olympia Academy lasted for only two years uh, since Habichat uh, and Solvina had both moved to out of Bern uh, by 1905. but the three men would remain friend for the rest of their lives perhaps most uh, more importantly albert claimed in the year ahead uh, that his discussion uh, with the academy helped form many of his ideas uh, that would uh, lead him to change the world another important development in albert's life as a scientist was that uh, around this time he began uh, to write and publish uh, scientific papers scientific papers can be uh, thought of uh, academic articles uh, since scholars write them in the other of uh, other to introduce uh, new ideas in a particular subject albert uh, first paper called conclusion drawn uh, from the stability uh, phenomena it was published in 2000 uh, sorry 191 in a german language uh, journal called anmol d physics analysis of physics in english This paper described some of his ideas about the force between molecules, especially how far molecules were from the ana one another. Although his theory in his area later turned out to be incorrect, uh, the paper's publication marked a very important uh, moment in Albert's personal history. It was his uh, first contribution to the world of formal physics. ये तो जान लिया यार कि इनके इन्होंने एक publish कर दिया German language में कुछ paper publish कर दिए और उनका जो एक Olympia का group था बहुत ही अच्छे से चल रहा था. But ये molecule कहाँ से आया बॉस? ये molecule हो होता क्या है तो ये मॉलिक्यूल होता है द स्मॉलेस्ट फिजिकल यूनिट ऑफ अ मटेरियल मॉलिक्यूल्स आर ग्रुप्स ऑफ एटम्स दैट आर हेल्ड टुगेदर बाय अ नेचुरली स्ट्रांग अट्रैक्शन बिटवीन देम अ मेजर मोमेंट इन अल्बर्ट्स पर्सनल लाइफ केम इन टू नाइनटीन व्हेन ही गॉट मैरिड हिज न्यू वाइफ वॉज सर्बिया ओमेन नेम्ड मेलविक मैरिक Uh, she and uh, albert first met about back in 1896 when they were both in new student of jos uh, polytechnic 
they were little more for than friend early on but romance blossomed uh, when they began studying together outside uh, of school Maleva had a bright mind and she looked forward a career not only as a teacher but also as a contributor in the field of uh, physics it, just like Albert however their relationship took some unexpected turns uh, that made uh, this very challenging for her for uh, in early 1902 Maleva gave birth to a daughter named Lizrael. Uh, this forced her to set her uh, career plans aside. Uh, let little is known as uh, what became a Lizrael that after this. But Einstein's biography believes she either died or uh, was given uh, uh, for adoption the following year. Albert would go on to have uh, two more children with Maleva Hans in 1904 and Edred in 1910. Science can only be created by those who are truly imbued uh, with the aspiration toward the truth and understanding. This quote uh, Albert Einstein wrote in 1941. Mein tha. Albert and Malaiva continued working together on the uh, on their shared interest of in physics and continued supporting uh, each other's goal. Albert kept writing for Annulum uh, der Physics. Physik mostly in the area of thermodynamics uh, which explores the relationship between uh, heat and mechanical energy albert believed uh, that science can be only treated uh, created by those and uh, the aspiration towards uh, truth and understanding uh, then came 1905 uh, the year which in which alberto would make his first uh, contribution to science uh, he would publish four scientific papers that would uh, not only change his life but also forever change the way we uh, view the world around as now what is energy yaar yeah, inhone to thermodynamics likha ye kiya wo kiya bahut zyada papers explore kiye but hame pata hi nahi ki yaar energy kya hoti hai to kya fayda padke to energy hoti hai stored ability to do work for example there is a energy stored in uh, food uh, when we eat that energy moves to us and wo hum ban jate hain aur usse hum motoram ban jate hain lesson number 4 the miracle year great scientists often make their mark on history over the course of many years albert changed the world of physics in just one year as 1905 began albert found himself still without a teaching position and still laboring away at a burn patent office but this would be an important year for the young scientist albert was in his mid-20s and married and caring for a son he was also continuing to devote much of his free time to his tireless interest in physics he had written several papers for the nld physics by this point but none were considered groundbreaking uh, because of this his work had been uh, not earned a lot of attention or praise that however was about to change very quickly albert had begun uh, to about some of the oldest theories of physics theories that been accepted or uh, to fact for centuries since he was uh, always eager to question the things he started uh, questioning the uh, theories of past he didn't just come up with his own theories to be rebel he did, uh, did it because of ongoing observation of the world around him alberto did not have all the uh, books and articles but were available on physics uh, to help him with his idea he made, uh, he did however have a good friend named michael anglo Beso. Michael and Albert were the uh, student of a Jewish Polytechnic together. Uh, then they worked together as a patent officer. Uh, in fact, Albert helped him to get the job. Michael had an excellent understanding of physics understanding of physics was too happy to discuss uh, it at a great length uh, with his friend albert called michael the best sounding uh, board in europe it, when it came to physics uh, he gave even gave uh, some of suggestions to albert later claimed to be very helpful once albert uh, the, uh, had his theories together he was uh, ready to share them uh, with the world uh, through four separate papers and make necessary uh, history at the same time the first of albert's uh, four ground breaking papers were published in nl and d physics uh, on june 9 this paper were discussed a way in which light behaves uh, called the photoelectric effect at the time it was thought uh, that light always moved in continuous waves alberto believed uh, that uh, although this was true most of the time uh, there were uh, conditions uh, under which light changed instead into disconnected uh, particles uh, these particles would become known as photons which were never still uh, but always uh, moving uh, the secondly albert paper were published uh, just as little over the month uh, later on july 18 it uh, discussed uh, the way particles uh, move within the different situation uh, that uh, surrounded them much such a dust particle within a ray of light uh, when Al albert observed particles moving in, in places where they should have been still he concluded that uh, tiny particles atom were acting upon them albert third published uh, in september uh, 26 uh, offered 
revolutionary idea about the relationship between space and time a very important one was the law of uh, physics uh, still work in the same way of an object uh, even if the object is inside something that is moving for example if you are in the bus and uh, throw a ball straight up in the ear uh, that ball will come uh, come back uh, down in your hand even though the bus is moving uh, this third paper introduced uh, the wo uh, world to what became uh, known as albert uh, theory of special uh, relativity uh, the fourth of albert's uh, miracle year uh, paper was published on november 21 in the uh, in this paper albert discussed the amount of energy that was uh, inside any object uh, there were two parts of this uh, the first part of uh, was kinetic energy which uh, which is how much energy an object has even it is moving the second part was rest energy which is how much energy an object has when it uh, isn't moving uh, the idea was uh, in this paper introduced the world the albert's most well known equation e equals to mc square uh, e equals to yani ki kya aapko pata hai kya <laughs> mujhe nahi pata uh, not long after each of Albert's four, four papers were published, uh, some of the most influential physicists of the time note, uh, took notice of their intriguing new theories. Uh, when they tested uh, the theories themselves and proved Albert was right, he began to talk the, uh, of the scientific world. Virtually no one uh, had ever heard of this man. It, he had uh, just altered basic principles uh, that had been accepted as law of four centuries. One physicist uh, named Jacob John Lobb decided to get uh, to know Albert and find out uh, who he is. Jacob was born in Australia, Hungary in 1884 uh, and when he was working for the University of Zurzburg uh, at the time uh, Albert's uh, paper were published, uh, Jacob began uh, writing letters to Albert and uh, to struck up a friendship. In 1908, uh, Jacob uh, decided to visit Albert in Bern. Uh, he was astounded to find Albert still uh, in his patent uh, clerk job uh, thought it was a waste of Albert's extraordinary talent Albert still wanted to teaching uh, position but he felt that being a patent clerk uh, had its advantages too uh, his pay was good enough to support himself and his family he had uh, enough spare time to continue his uh, physics studies Albert and Jacob together for together uh, to develop uh, Albert's uh, theories in regard to special relativity the original uh, theory covered uh, the concept as relating only uh, the one body at a rest and another one at a constant speed uh, what he and jacob uh, began investigating was uh, how special relativity applies to bodies moving at a different speeds albert work uh, work would work on this for years to come making repeat uh, repeated attempts uh, to find uh, and the fundamental answers begin it in the major uh, in the meantime uh, as his uh, reputation grew he at least uh, received the opportunity he did craved for long and became an academic Lesson number five: The academic Albert stayed at the patent office for a few uh, few more years after publishing his paper in uh, 1905. That's, however, was about to chart change the scientific world would not allow such an extraordinary mind to remain uh, in his kind of uh, job for long academics were quickly realizing that uh, they had once in a generation genius on uh, on their hands so they had to bring Albert into the world of academia uh, when we, he belonged uh, and as soon as possible uh, 1905 was an important year for the albert because he earned his doctorate and uh, now uh, thereafter known as dr einstein to earn a doctorate or phd to postgraduate uh, student uh, must write a doctoral uh, dissertation uh, which is a formal essay uh, albert like any other uh, student needed his doctorate in other find a d good teaching post albert uh, first uh, teaching job finally uh, came to in 1908 when he was arrived as an assistant in university of Bern, uh, this position marked the beginning uh, of what would be quicker rise in academic world his job title was a uh, pivotal docent uh, which meant uh, he could uh, teach student uh, but was not part of school uh, faculty uh, faculties uh, it almost uh, meant he did not receive a salary because of this he had uh, to keep his uh, job at the patent office uh, for the time being it provided him uh, with steady paycheck uh, he also likely knew he had to do this kind of assistant work before any school uh, could make him a professor the ambitious scientist finally earned uh, his profession uh, professorship in mid 19 nine at uh 
at which time he said goodbye uh, to his job at a patent clerk uh, he became an associate professor of theoretical physics uh, which was a new position created uh, specifically for him at the university of juris this new job was a big uh, step up from his uh, presidential position in bern uh, but it was not enough to put him uh, put him among the top level of academics just at albert uh, still had to teach class every week and he uh, still had to supervise uh, other student he was not particularly happy about the part of the job since it took him away from uh, below the research however he did not remain the university of jerusalem for very long after Albert was given a full professorship in 1911 at the Church of Fedman University of Prague. Uh, then he moved it again uh, just a year uh, later taking a position at his old a uh, old school Jewish Polytechnic. Uh, he was a polytechnic from uh, 1929 to 1914. Albert uh, Albert focused uh, his work particularly on proving someone uh, on his, of his earlier theories uh, he was trying to figure out of his ideas uh, applied to bodies that moved independently of one another Albert also studied aspects of thermodynamics and gravity he was helped in the research uh, by an old friend called Merkel Grossman Merkel uh, was a fellow student at the Jewish uh, Polytechnic who took notes uh, during the lectures of uh, albert refused to attend uh, then later albert uh, reviewed them later on albert trusted merkel completely sharing his new ideas to uh, in the hope that merkel would give him valuable feedback the result of this collaboration was uh, two new publication on albert uh, original theory of uh, relativity Albert received an amazing opportunity in 1915 a chance for a full profession uh, professorship at University of Berlin uh, one of the people responsible for making was Max Planck a leading physicist of a one day of a day uh, Planck was also a great uh, believer in Albert's uh, talent Albert had uh, received many offers at that time but the one from berlin sounded uh, too good for him to pass up first he ha- he would only have to teach have whatever classes he chose and uh, no one at all if he preferred secondly uh, right from uh, start he would receive the highest possible salary uh, for a person in his position third he would become a member of a persuasion academy of science he most rep- uh, respected scientific institution in germany uh, at the time perhaps uh, best of all uh, though he would be allowed as much uh, time as he wanted to work uh, in his theories when albert was offered uh the position at the university of our berlin uh, he wanted sometimes to think uh, it over one of the reason he hesitated was because the discipline of german education uh, system which he felt uh, was not inflexible compared to that of european nations he promised the plank that uh, he would make a final decision in a few days uh the way he would uh, reveal his decision was al- uh, most unusual uh, when plank uh, and another physicist uh, walder nonest uh, returned to the jurish Yeah. Albert would be waiting for them at the train station uh, if he was holding the red rose it uh, meant to be accepted the position but the white uh, rose meant to be decided to stay in Switzerland uh, Plank and Nemest was deeply re- uh, relieved uh, when they got off the train and uh, find Albert uh, with a red rose in her hand on a professional level Albert was probably more content uh, than he had ever been his personal life however was falling apart his wife Melva had been uh, happy with her I had not been happy uh, with all the moves uh, their family made had made to the post uh, she also did not like the amount of time albert was spending with his colleagues uh, rather than with her and her uh, their st- own two st- sons uh, by the time of pro- profession professorship in berlin was offered albert and malaiva marriage uh, was all about over they moved to berlin in april 1915 uh, so albert uh, could start his new job uh, by june of that year malaiva and alberto would separate she and two uh, boys moved back to switzerland after the breakdown of his family albert focused harder than ever uh, on his work new center for the uh, study of physics uh, called the kaiser wilhelm institute for the physics was sup- uh, supposed to be open in uh, 1914 uh, uh, put the outbreak of the world war 1 1914 to 1918 uh, put these plans on hold when institute finally did open in 1917 when uh, albert was asked to be uh, its director he also became the president of german uh, physical society
in spite of all this new uh, responsibility albert still focused most of his uh, energy on the latest uh, theories one of the his most prompting was uh, in addition to his theory of general uh, relativity he had been attempting to calculate the degree of which uh, light from the star will be be uh, bent uh, from the gravitational force of the uh, sun this world became uh, known as a gravitational lensing put simply uh, if light uh, after a distance also is coming uh, toward you and there is a large object between you the light and the gravitational field from the uh, that mass uh, will change the course of that light often referred to as bending uh, the light there uh, there had already been a theory for uh, centuries about his phenomena but albert calculated that uh, the effect was greater than had been uh, thought he presented uh, this idea in a book published in early 1917 called on the special and uh, general theory of relativity generally comprehensible it was written not just to think of the academic but also uh, was also simplified uh, to the point that uh, ordinary person uh, with some knowledge physics uh, could understand it still albert uh, na a new theory would needed to be proven proven uh, before it could be accepted by the scientific community to settle uh, the matter the peer of english astronomer uh, would author eddington and frank dyson traveled to the island of principia uh, of the west coast of africa to observe the solar e uh, eclipse of may 29 1919 uh, during the eclipse which lasted less than 7 minutes they took many photographs of the stars that were visible closest to the sun uh, using the position of the stars so to compare the world theory of albert new one uh, they discovered uh, that albert's theory that light uh, would bend was correct uh, when they published uh, these findings a few months later the story was reported around the world and albert went from the professor to an international celebrity almost overnight lesson number 6 a household name of albert einstein in 1920s uh, would be a very busy time for albert now that uh, his theories of relativity had been established uh, he was truly famous the albert was now well known uh, that he was bombarded uh, with requests to travel and make appearances uh, all over the world thousands of people wanted to see the great man in uh, person and hear him speak albert was not only the celebrity in academic school, uh, world is a rich event where uh, well beyond that Le millions of ordinary people uh, now knew the name albert einstein as well world war uh, first has ended shortly before in november 1918 the germany on one uh, side and Br great britain on the other many people were partially inspired by the fact that albert was a german and the test proved uh, his calculation on the gravitational lens uh, effect were carried out by the two british men here were a uh, scientist from both sides of uh, war uh, working together to change human kind's understanding of science and uh, the universe everyone agreed uh, that it made be wonderful story albert begin uh, his wonderful tour will land a uh, wind tour of united states in the offerings of 1921 he sailed uh, from the netherland in march landed in new york city uh, where he was uh, mobbed uh, by nearly 20000 adoring fans It was likely a joyous uh, time for him, uh, not only because of the warm American reception, uh, but also because in 1919 uh, he had married again. The woman's uh, name as Eliza Lovender. She uh, would remain faithfully at his side until her death uh, in 1936. Albert and Eliza stayed in America for two months, uh, starting in North Eastern area and gradually making their way of Mid East. During this time, Albert gave a lecture to the most uh, some of the most uh, respected universities in the country. of columbia and princeton he was also invited to white house uh, to visit uh, the president warren g harding ye kuch photos hai jab wo uh, wo car pe nikle the warren d white house ki taraf in 1921 albert was told uh, that he had been selected to the nobel prize in physics he was given a prize of, uh, for his general contribution of theoretical physics uh, but especially for his work on the photoelectric effect photoelectric effect uh, Occurs when light strikes a surface, or usually metal, at a certain frequency, uh, frequency, so that it causes electron to be released uh, from the surface. Uh, Albert wrote about uh, this in in the first Miracle Year paper in 1905. Many of Albert's theories in relativity were still considered uh, too controversial, uh, so the Nobel Committee focused the uh, Albert works with the photoelectric instead. Albert was not happy about uh, this, and when he was not, went to Sweden to accept the award, he once again showed off uh, the rebellious side. 
during his exam tense uh, speech he talked about the relativity theories instead of the photoelectric uh, effect much of the shock of everyone present albert continued his journey throughout the world traveling to numerous countries including uh, france spain and japan he also made uh, sure to use the attention he was suddenly getting to highlight the importance of peace and international cooperation uh, year of early he made it clear that he was dissuaded uh, by the horrors of uh, world war 1 he was also angry at his uh, academic colleagues uh, who supported it in 1915 he wrote a paper unrelated to physics uh, titled many opinion of the war my opinion of the war in it he argued that the tendency towards violence of males was the cause for warfare now that he had thousands of people listening uh, to his uh, every world every corner of the world he often spoke about the importance of finding a way for all nations to exist peacefully uh, together he also joined a group called the committee of intellectual Co- uh, cooperation it was a part of league leagues of nations an organization formed uh, in the end of world war 1 the committee's purpose uh, was to discuss ideas on how world peace might be achieved albert uh, used his connection through uh, the leagues of nations to encourage scientists to of uh, uh, all fields uh, to work across national uh, uh, national borders uh, for the sake of exchanging ideas uh, to more move science forward uh, without interferences from politics other the benefits of scientists together uh, together would be trans uh, introduction of people of different culture as a le- uh, result people would learn to become more understanding of cultural dis- uh, differences uh, less likely to use them as an uh, excuse for war albert spent some times in 1920s focusing on cosmology uh, in simply terms so this is the study of beginning and continuum progressing of uh, the universe uh, while the notion of uh, cosmology had been around the first centuries albert modernized in starting in 1917 uh, with his paper cosmological consideration of a general theory of relativity too many people paid attention to at his uh, first mostly because it was not easy to find a uh, outside of journal until world war first ended however more scientists uh, took notice of uh, it after albert won the nobel prize reached the status of international celebrity one of the most important points albert made in the paper was that believed the universe was not of any fixed permanent size but rather that it was a continually expanding again he was challenging a very bold and long lasted accepted idea and again he academic uh, con- community decided his theory needed to be proven before uh, it could be accepted uh, this was accomplished in 1929 by respected astronomer edwin Hub- edwin hubble a dedicated worker hubble used a newly built uh, telescope at the mount wilson observatory in Washington state to study a variety of astronomical bodies uh, such as stars and galaxies after noticing shift in their positions and distance he realized uh, he had found evidence that universe was in fact uh, growing in size once again albert was right while albert's uh, reputation around the world uh, continued to grow he did not uh, did uh, his uh, passion for religions uh, philosophical thought uh, where a religion was concerned uh, he considered himself uh, a believer of some sort of supreme intelligence however he did not trust the organized religion because uh, he feared uh, that it would be uh, too easy to use it to manipulate people for evil uh, purposes so he was still a uh, jewish but he was interested in the far others faith so well he felt uh, that one religion all alone was not the uh, path of the person's spiritual contentment he was also fascinated with sorts of uh, uh, philosophical ideas on everything uh, from what it means so to be human to understanding the difference between right and wrong all of his came from his tireless curiosity about the secret of life humanity and the universe his celebrity status give him access uh, to all different uh, sort of uh, peoples from every corner of the world while his kind of open minded uh, thinking was appreciated by many people it was viewed and downright dangerous by other including some who awaited albert's return back in germany lesson number 7 a man without a country albert was against the idea of a war in of any form uh, because of this he was about to enter one of the most difficult times of his life in 1920s became the uh, 1930s uh, many germans uh, were very unhappy german had come out to losing side of uh, world war 1 and as a result uh, they had been forced to agree some of the harsh terms uh, one condition was that he had to pay uh, for much 
of the damage that uh, they had caused during the war another was that they were not allowed to have, have a military power anymore they had uh, to give back a lot of land they had acquired in previous years from the countries uh, they also had to publicly admit uh, that uh, they were responsible for the war most of these uh, conditions were outlined uh, in a document called uh, treaty of versailles the effect of a uh, treaty of uh, versailles led germany into a, a terrible times uh, their economy collapsed leaving many citizens uh, so poor uh, that they could barely offered to eat millions lost their jobs crime was on the rise and the general uh, mood of the nation became gloomy and hopeless most germans began to feel anger uh, towards uh, those f they felt were responsible for the misery one of the person who took advantage of this anger was a man uh, named adolf hitler uh, at the time homeless uh, artist selling his work on the street of vienna hitler had uh, hitler had since became a politician after the germans surround, uh, surrendered in world war uh, first they signed a treaty of versailles hitler became ingrained those who he claimed scrabbled germany in back uh, he began to form a list of those he felt were responsible he targeted uh, jews uh, intellectual and roman people and others hitler joined a national socialist german workers uh, party which would eventually became the uh, known as a nazi party he was a strong public uh, speaker and quickly rose uh, through nazi ranks uh, to become their leader he used the two speaking skills to encourage the anger of a, Gen a german people he soon became a leader of the entire company and he wanted to do something else he wanted to uh, capture whole country because he has a power of speech so he wanted to make country uh, on his side after imprisoning and murdering all of his political opponents he held total power uh, then he began to put uh, his put in place new policies these were designed to persuade or uh, to or target any people who in hitler's opinion uh, opinions made the country weaker including jewish and intellectual german germany became a dangerous place to live for many people including albert he was uh, about a jew and an intellectual of uh, so uh, so he was exactly sort of person nazi party was persecuting although albert was a german citizen uh, citizen he spent less and less time uh, there he was deeply worried uh, by the antisemitism of hatred or jewish and that was being uh, strived uh, up by hitler he had built a house in a quiet german village of kopet in 1929 but between his travels of and his work of the other university he was not there much by 1931 uh, two of his position meant uh, he had either a passage in california or oxford england in 1932 uh, albert met a man named abraham flexen who uh, informed him about a new educational uh, research center uh, center being set up in uh, princeton new jersey it was called as institute of advanced study or i a yes for short of uh, for short of, it would be dedicated for uh, international scientific research albert was asked to be part of this exciting new program he was considered the position uh, he had planned to divide his time between germany and princeton uh, however everything changed in early 1933 uh, the hitler began forcing jews out of academics post and uh, forbidding uh, them uh, from holding other parents position uh, then the nazis froze uh, albert's uh, bank account and seized his property to capital uh, for Albert, that was the last straw. He uh, resigned his uh, membership from the uh, Prussian uh, Academy of Science, uh, even though it was uh, one of the most prestigious academy in the world. The Nazis uh, began showing their hatred uh, on him by publicly burning the books uh, he had written. Feared for the, uh, his safety, Albert fled the Belgium, uh, fled the Belgium, where he gave up uh, his German citizenship for the second time. Uh, he then uh, went to England, uh, where uh, friends protected him day, uh, night and day. Uh, at one time, he was guarded by men and uh, uh, shotguns. During uh, this time, Albert was concerned uh, for more than just uh, his own safety. He was de also deeply worried about uh, worried about the scientists who had so far been unable to leave Hitler's Germany. Uh, not long after announcing re-announcing his own German citizenship, he met with his uh, Winston Churchill, uh, who was a British uh, Prime Minister at the time. Albert asked him for a help, uh, so Churchill sent a trusted friend to Germany to bring a many Jewish scientist back to the England as and for very possible. long. Uh, he soon realized that he was still 
putting himself in danger remaining in the country uh, there were rumors uh, but hitler not only wished to drive all waves out of uh, germany but also force them out of the europe altogether uh, there was also a suspicious uh, that hitler hoped uh, to one day take over the entire continent uh, all those horrible possibilities played a big role in albert finally deciding to uh, accept abraham fellinger offer to came uh, to work in princeton uh, the institute for advanced study was up and running when albert finally arrived in october 1933 it was it is likely uh, he had felt particularly safe there since they had they had already hired many other jewish scientists who were fle- uh, fleeing uh, nazi persecution over the next few years albert was offered other position at different universities around the world he declined them all however uh, and this, uh, decided to stay in princeton for good in 1935 then in 1936 he requested and would eventually receive a uh, full citizenship in the united state lesson number 8 albert the american Albert settled into America life very quickly. He particularly liked the general attitudes and many freedom of the United States. Albert was impressed with the privileges of being able to speak your mind openly and without fear. Back in German, a Nazi party was planting spaces throughout the towns of cities and to assure and no one publicly criticized Hitler or his politics. those who did a uh, so called accept a quick and serve punishment in the united state albert felt that people were encouraged to express uh, themselves and they opened their minds uh, to new ideas he also liked the way uh, average people could get ahead if they worked hard and developed their professional skills uh, in other places uh, where he had been uh, he found it uh, rid- ridiculous uh, that people would make more money or to get into positions uh, of power simply because of the people they knew once he was settled in united states and away from uh, the threats of nazism albert could once again focus on developing his latest uh, theories once Uh, which he uh, had begun thinking a uh, tinkering uh, which in the late 1920s was known as unified field theory or uft if he was successful uh, his uft would be able to basically predict uh, natural phenomena which are uh, such as the movement of the object in the uh, in the universe it came from the desire to take all the different uh, theories of physics and essentially combined them into a great equation the theory of everything agar aap theory of everything jante ho to wo duniya ki sabse badi theory hai ya fir sabse kind of brilliant theory hai einstein ne kya kiya ki jitne bhi research pehle ke zamane mein hue the jo nahi laga ki is theory mein aap dal sakte the puri ki पूरे रिसर्च उठा के उन्होंने ये थ्योरी ऑफ एवरीथिंग में डाले हैं तो व्हाट इज थ्योरी ऑफ एवरीथिंग द अनफिल्ड फील्ड थ्योरी in very simple terms was albert attempt to explain the way all the forces of the universe accepted upon all physical things he worked on it for many years and it became known as the theory of everything ye yahan pe ek i think ha uh, advance institute mein unka first lecture tha jab unhone ye uh, kind of theory ke bare mein kuch zikr kiya tha another albert academic highlights of was in th- uh, 1935 publication of einstein uh, podolsky podolsky rosen paradox or e pr paradox was short uh, on which albert worked uh, with two other physicists uh, boris podolsky and uh, nathan rosen together the three of them used to, to call as epr paradox to question quantum uh, quantum mechanics what is quantum mechanics yaar inhone to research kar li but what is quantum bas- mechanics in basic terms quantum mechanics ya fir qm bhi keh sakte ho aap explains how atoms and things made up of atoms work qm also or quantum mechanics also attempt to explain how electromagnetic optical waves uh, which such as lights and functions While Albert enjoyed uh, living in America not all of his uh, time proved to be happy his marriage uh, to Eliza had provided him with the emotional support he needed to do uh, his work for many years not long after he and uh, Eliza moved into their uh, new home to Banner Street of uh, Princeton she began to uh, feel seriously ill uh, several doctor uh, doctor visits to test later he it was determined that Eliza had developed uh, both heart and kidney diseases uh, Albert 
tried to be helpful as helpful as he could be uh, but the emotional strain of seeing his beloved wife suffering led him to focus uh, very closely on his work than ever elisa passed away in december 20 1936 leaving albert broken heart a close friend of the couple said he saw albert crying in after uh, aftermath of the loss something uh, something he had never known albert to do before in spite of albert's love for america and its many uh, freedoms there was aspect of a country that he felt needed to change uh, racism racism is hatred or a group of people based on solely on the on the skin color or ethnicity america passed a force full of horrific uh, horrific racist accident uh, which uh, included everything from refusing people uh, service at a restaurant uh, to burning down uh, their homes beating them or even killing them as someone who believed in the civil rights uh, and that all people had equal value albert found this completely unacceptable he remembered all uh, all too well the racism directed at his wish in hitler's uh, germany he was afraid that he was seeing uh, people behave in a sim- uh, similar way in his new country Albert began his anti-racism mission uh, right in his own uh, town on Princeton. Uh, he did not uh, take long for him to uh, realize the uh, to Princeton at that time was highly segregated. Segregation is the practice. Segregation एक ऐसी practice होती है जहाँ पे क्या करते हैं कि आपको separate करने की कोशिश करते हैं with a different community or a different part. Princeton had its uh, black neighborhood separate from the uh, where uh, white families lived. Uh, some businesses would only serve uh, white customers. Uh, for example black people uh, often had to buy uh, their groceries in different stores albert formed all of his appeal, uh, appealing uh, he was very outspoken about uh, his views of segregation he uh, believed uh, that it was a disease caused by the attitudes of white uh, people and he would later say i do not ad- uh, intend to be quiet about it albert treated everyone with uh, equal consideration and stood up uh, for those who were treated unfairly uh, when singer marian addressan came to princeton was rebuked to hotel room because of her race albert invited her to stay in his home even uh, even he paid to tuition for a bl- uh, young black student who could uh, not offer to attend a university in addition he joined the national association for the advance of black colored people yen a a c p uh, yahi same uh, jo association thi ya fir national association thi jo ki martin luther king ke video mein maine discuss kiya hai yahi same uh, kind of association thi jo jinke president jo the wo the martin luther king jinhone pure ke pure un logo ke liye lada tha और बहुत कुछ किया था ऑफ द वर्ल्ड इन जर्मनी हिटलर और द मेन मैन रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ड्राइविंग अल्बर्ट एंड मिलियंस ऑफ अदर जिज आउट ऑफ द कंट्री वॉज बिकमिंग मोर पावरफुल देन एवर now he wanted to took all the uh, violence and racism using hitler uh, hitler was working hard to take over europe his terrifying goal was to remove jewish people and anyone else uh, that he did not consider worthy in spite uh, he of this twisted thinking uh, hitler and his own nazi followers were making remarkable progress and albert knew it uh, had to be stopped before it was too late lesson number 9 the mahantan project albert had spent his whole life believing that armed conflicts of any uh, kind was wrong but his uh, beliefs were about to tested albert was strong believers in pessimism he was uh, always a strong believer of pessimism which means uh, that he was against uh, war and thought uh, that people uh, should live with a peaceful life to ye jo albert the jo pure ke pure martin luther king the ya fir mahatma gandhi ji the tino bhi log jinke maine apne aur helen keller helen keller bhi jin teen charo ke bhi maine audio book banayi hai un charo ke charo mein ek common cheez thi wo peace ko bahut zyada mahatva dete the kyunki unhe pata tha ki yaar peace aise cheez hai jo duniya ko aage bada sakti hai following the rise of hitler however his beliefs were challenged in generally a german Hitler and Nazis uh, were targeting attacking uh, Jews in many uh, different ways uh, they de- destroyed Jewish uh, synagogues businesses and they arrested murdered people to Jewish faith uh, by the time uh, by the end of the 1930s uh, Hitler uh, Nazi had been had taken over many German neighboring countries uh, this led to the uh, state uh, state start of world war second 19 
39 to 45. Deeply worried about the horrific event unfolding in Europe, Albert and another German Jewish physicist, Leo Svezeld, sent a letter to US President Franklin D. Roosevelt. In the letter, they warned Roosevelt that Hitler was working uh, with scientists uh, who supported Nazim to develop the atomic bomb. This was uh, now possible because the recent discoveries of a nuclear fusion, a process during which an atom uh, releases a huge amount of energy after being split. A physicist quickly realized the destructive power of the nuclear fusion and Switzerland uh, conducted a service uh, experiment of Columbia University in New York of to prove this. He figured out that uranium, an easily mined uh, mineral within the earth, uh, would be idle for an atomic uh, bomb. It its atom could be split to produce a great amount of power. As a result, an explosion of massive uh, size or force uh, could be created. If the Nazi scientist uh, could create uh, such a weapon, Hitler would have the power to take over every country in the world. Roosevelt immediately understood the danger of the situation created by the Advisory Committee of Uranium. This was the start of whatever uh, what would eventually become known as Mahantan Project. ये स्टार्ट थी महंतन प्रोजेक्ट की यार और अल्बर्ट पहले से ही खतरे आ, मतलब उन्हें बहुत ही डेंजर लग रहा था ये सब जो हिटलर कर रहा था और उससे भी वन स्टेप आहेर जाके हिटलर ने क्या किया कि एक एटम बम बनाने की कोशिश की और वो अल्बर्ट एंड अल्बर्ट आइंस्टाइन के फ्रेंड को समझ में आया कि यार इट, आ, हिटलर को ऐसा प्लान कर रहा है विद द फिजिसिस्ट एंड साइंटिस्ट ऑफ जर्मनी तो उन्होंने क्या किया जो रोजवल्ट उस टाइम के जो प्रेसिडेंट थे अमेरिका के उन्हें एक लेटर भेजा उन्हें आ, ये लगा कि यार ये इनकी बात तो सही है अल्बर्ट आइंस्टाइन की और इन्हें इनसे मीटिंग तो करनी पड़ेगी फिर इसी प्रोजेक्ट को कहा जाता है महंतन प्रोजेक्ट वॉज द अमेरिकन लेड प्रोजेक्ट टू डेवलप एन एटोमिक वेपन इट वॉज रन बाय द आर्मी क्रॉप्स ऑफ इंजीनियर एज इन जून नाइनटीन द महंतन प्रोजेक्ट ग्रेव इन one of the most important military development in history it was supported not only by the us government but also by great britain uh, great britain and canada which uh, with only one a few dozen of workers at beginning it had more than uh, 1 lakh 25000 at the end it also used the talent of some of the most respected scientists at that time including andrew fermi uh, richard feynman uh, J. Robert or Oppenheimer, Albert, however, was not part of it because he was a pacifist. Uh, the government did not want to give him uh, information about it. The, in fact, uh, the project was conducted in such uh, secrecy that uh, Albert never even knew about it until August uh, 1945. That is, by 1945, the Nazi. Nazis uh, were losing the war. Uh, finally, the April soldier uh, from the Soviet Union surrounded uh, the Germany capital of, of Berlin. Hitler chose to take his own uh, life rather than be captured and Germany surrendered shortly uh, after that. Japan, however, was determined to be continued the war uh, in a pacific. US President Harry's uh, yes, Thurman Roosevelt, uh, Roosevelt had died by this point, realized uh, that this could may, uh, mean many more uh, years of fighting. So he decided to allow the military to use so two atoms of a bomb created uh, through the German Mahantan project. The bombs were dropped August 6, 1945 on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Uh, the use of bombs uh, forced the Japan to surrender officially uh, ended uh, World War uh, World War Second. However, the death toll uh, thought to be uh, high as a court of million Japan uh, Japanese citizens filled Albert uh, with tremendous regret. Uh, although it was the Switzerland who wrote the letters to Roosevelt uh, that led to the development of the bombs, Albert knew it was the strength of his own support uh, that helped the president attention. When Albert realized uh, that uh, his research was uh, used to help create most destructive open in the history. He is regret only dependent uh, in his latter years. Uh, he would consider his support of the uh, bombs development the greatest mistake of his life. Eight, he still felt in the had to be done in order to stop Hitler developing from developing one first. It didn't take Albert long to realize that the world was entering the new age following the development of atomic bombs. Uh, what this meant was that uh, humans were more capable to immense power uh, that could destroy the world around them. Because of this, people would need to use uh, that uh, power responsibly. To encourage this, Albert got uh, involved with the National Committee of Atomic Information, which represented dozens of educational and civic and religion organize, uh, organizations. Since the development of atomic bombs had been a secret project from the beginning, ordinary citizens uh, did not know the existence until the bombs were uh, used in the end of the war. Because of the terrifying power of bomb uh, atomic energy, Albert felt it was essential to educate the people. He and other like-minded scientists, including Leo 
स्विट्जरलैंड ऑल्सो फॉर्म्ड अ ग्रुप नोन एज एमरजेंसी कमेटी ऑफ एटोमिक साइंटिस्ट इन मे नाइनटीन फोर्टी सिक्स a uh, second uh, organization would continue to educate the uh, public and further to encourage uh, uh, world leaders to work together peacefully rather than make uh, use more atomic bombs in the future uh, the in the year ahead albert uh, would use his name to request a funding uh, that would help the committees with their goals he asked he also asked the united nation un to set all the rules so would help limit the atomic capabilities of the uh, country that would eventually have a bomb uh, the un's failure so to do this however along uh, with uh, two little fundings forced the committee to break up in 1951 uh, albert however would continue to publicly state his firmly believes uh, that peace was the only uh, true path fit of assuring humanity's survival aur unhone ek quote bhi likha tha ki mankind must give up war in the atomic era what uh, is at stake is the life or death of humanity ye last lesson hai lesson number 10 final years of albert einstein while most people tend to slow down in their last uh, last years later years albert stayed busy his curiosity and enthusiasm never disappeared it is appeared albert so uh, spent the last years of his uh, life doing the things he loved most uh, working the theories publicly supporting his most passionate political causes and enjoying his favorite hobbies uh, albert abroad uh, music knows out and batch where his favorite composers so uh, he also enjoying enjoyed playing his violin and would continue to do so into old age he was not the greatest player uh, but he was the truly passionate about it music also helped him to uh, to think more clearly when working out his theories one of the idea that he continued to develop was the unified field theory uft he wanted it would not only to tie together all the major laws of physics in one neat concept but also uh, to after the very basis of quantum mechanics uh, albert concept, but also a letter of the very basis of quantum mechanics albert would never uh, complete his work uh, on his famous uh, theory of everything it remains uh, unresolved albert also continued his support to jews uh, worldwide he helped uh, to raise money to for jewish causes uh, such as an establishment of jewish homeland the number of jewish death caused uh, by nazi persuasion uh, persuasion uh, could not be calculated at the time uh, but today it is estimated to be only somewhere in the neighborhood of Six millions after a uh, World War or uh, second, many Jewish people who were fortunately uh, enough to escape Nazi influence uh, were scattered of uh, various part of the globe uh, because of horror uh, they had to endure uh, during World War uh, Second. Jewish people felt the needed of homeland uh, on their own. Uh, this would become a reality in 1948 when the United States uh, under the a leadership of us president harry of uh, truman recognized the nation of uh, israel of the official jewish state israel is located uh, in on ancient uh, land and neighborhood by uh, lebron and syria and jordan and egypt and palestine as well as the mediterranean sea uh, israel pr- president uh, was man in a chain vision who uh, started his career as a uh, chemist before turning to politics uh, the vezeman died in 1952 israel prime minister became david ben zurin uh, asked albert to vezeman placement israel government had parliament structure uh, which meant that Uh, the prime minister had most of the real power uh, while the president uh, post was mainly for show the thinking was the albert for fame as well as his accomplishment uh, would be good publicly for israel in the year to come albert was also promised that he uh, would still be c- uh, continue to work his physics uh, the main problem with his offer uh, however was uh, that he Uh, would have to give up uh, his life in princeton move uh, to israel uh, where he would have to become a israel citizen uh, while albert was touched uh, by the offer he had a uh, little choices uh, but uh, project albert was uh, aware that uh, he reminded uh, was gathered more than towards science than politics so, so he chose to stay in princeton to active albert was however he was a beginning to experience the home health issue and knew uh, his time was becoming very limited albert had to surgery in 1948 to treat the armory albert einstein is considered by many to be the greatest mind in 20th century he changed the way we look at the universe and his theories are basic to modern physics his unique thoughts on matters energy space and time and gravity also proved to the world that those who think differently are often the ones who make the biggest the difference albert is also uh, remembered uh, as the uh, kind heart of soul who cared deeply for the humanity he had a tireless uh, desire to see people 
all the races lives together peacefully albert was uh, never afraid to speak his mind and he was a great person uh, whatever words we used to describe him one things for sure uh, he made the world a better place in his uh, time that he was here